Welcome to the Funny Delgado Podcast. I'm Jason Delgado. This week we are talking blood sport. I know. Why are you talking about the 1988 action movie classic starring Jean Claude Van Damme? Well, I'll tell you, um, it kind of inspired me this week. <laughs> I hope everybody had a great Easter or a great Sunday if you don't celebrate. But yeah, you know, this Sunday, me and my friends got together, had a little Easter dinner, got a little hang on, and then afterwards we watched Bloodsport. Hadn't seen it since I was a kid. And I have not been able to stop thinking about it. I just thought it was so good and so much fun. And the cheesier it got and the worse the acting got, the better the movie got. And I haven't quite been able to kind of put my finger on what it was about it, but it just inspired me in a way just to say, like, to do your thing. You know what I mean? Like, don't try to be too fancy. Don't try to impress too much. Don't try to have a message or, you know teach anyone anything there's no need to worry about whether it's authentic or not just give people a good time I know doing stand-up for me I'm always you know trying to find things that you know are, are new and true and you is, is the sort of the, the mantra something that is true about myself something that's new or an opinion that, that sort of hasn't been spoken of and something that is you know personal to me and sometimes I think that gets me in a little bit of trouble just because I'm trying to be too clever or I'm trying to be, you know, impressive in some way or trying to teach something. And watching Bloodsport and seeing just, you know, besides the the acting being kind of pretty, pretty rough and the main stars English being pretty bad and the plot being kind of wild uh and really making no actual sense as far as reality is concerned it was an incredibly fun movie i mean in contrast to roadhouse where we watched roadhouse a couple weeks ago and that just got into all these subplots about like he's trying to save a bookstore and he feels guilt about like killing someone in the ring and it's like i don't want any of that i just want a good guy saving a town from a bad guy and cool fights. That was really all I was looking for. And it gave me just all these different subplots where like the girl had a father who was a police chief who was corrupt, but not really. I just didn't, just too much. Bloodsport has like a 45 second (laughs) love story. Uh, It's got a buddy in it who's, you know, they become best friends after playing a video game. It's got comic relief from this guy who's like an American Chinese guy who's, you know, supposed to be the comic relief who just explains all the rules of the movie. It's just incredible. It's just so much fun. The fight sequences are super fun. Everybody's got these unique sort of abilities and these unique personalities that they show through the fights. It never wastes any of your time. It's over in 90 minutes. And it was just the music. Oh my goodness, the music in Bloodsport doing most of the heavy lifting. And it just kind of inspired me to not really worry so much about trying to be, I don't know, important or clever or, or, you know, trying to say a message in some way. You know, sometimes I feel like when I watch a movie or I watch any kind of piece of entertainment, I feel like they're just trying so hard. You know, I, I feel like almost uncomfortable, like like it's homework as opposed to entertainment. Like I'm being engaged in as sort of like a hostage. And even with comedy, sometimes I'll watch people where I'm nervous for them. Like I'm nervous for them because they're trying so hard to do something. And and I just feel like should I I, I should laugh, right? I should laugh right now. And and it's like work, you know. It's it's tiring. And blood sport just kind of showed me the way in some weird way. Like just the fact that it was just doing its thing. It knew what I wanted out of the movie. It gave me little things to root for. You know, a bad guy who was engaging, who I didn't like, who I wanted to go down, who had the most giant pecs you've ever seen on a man that took up his whole upper torso. They gave me a Jean Claude Van Damme doing awesome kicks, looking awesome. The best splitter in movie history. If I could do splits like Jean Claude Van Damme, I would do them all the time. I'd walk into a room and do a split immediately. <laughs> uh, 
one of the best screams in movie history, too. I mean, that and up there with Commandos, or, Arnold, or rather uh, Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger is probably number one. But this is a very close second. And it's cheesy and it's fun and it was just doing its thing. And I was just watching it kind of in this in this awe just because I was like, you know, this shouldn't be this good. It shouldn't be this good, but it's cheesy and it's corny and it makes no sense. And I'm having a great time with it. And I think that's kind of what I'm into now I think with working a lot and, you know, people with busy schedules where we really don't have time to, you know, be engaged in this important way all the time sometimes you just want to watch something that washes over you and is just really really fun and you don't have to think about it too much and it gives you everything you want in the right amount with the right amount of timing and blood sport really did that for me i really felt like this movie doesn't care about anything but having a good time and that shows some level of confidence and i was you know, kind of inspired by it, where I was like, you know, you should be like Bloodsport. Your comedy should be like Bloodsport. <laughs> it should be fun and engaging because it's entertaining, a little silly, and, and you know, it, its primary objective is to entertain, not to educate or be clever or do any of these things. You know, it's, it's just good karate. That's what my comedy I want to be. I want my comedy to be good karate with splits and, and kumites and, <laughs> and just a fun time. And I looked at Bloodsport and I was like, look at this. This movie has no right being this good. And yet here we are enjoying it. A group of people together laughing and, you know, getting to those moments where we're like, oh, no, I hope he wins. Knowing he wins. Just super fun. The 1988 classic Bloodsport with Jean-Claude Van Damme. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's free on Amazon. It's a great time. to. It's a great movie to watch with people. And that's the other thing. Sometimes, you know, certain movies are just made to be watched solo or just in, in sort of, a, in sort of a, a solemn manner. But it's really tough to find a movie you can watch with a group of people, just really enjoy. And a comedy's a lot like that. You want to enjoy it with a group of people. You want everybody to be engaged and everybody to be having a good time and thinking it's... It's silly and fun and enjoyable. And, and that's blood sport. It really is. It was just like a great movie to watch with a group of people. I thought Roadhouse would be that, but it wasn't. It was just trying to be too many things, too important, too many B stories, too many subplots. And, you know, it reminded me of, of why I don't like things. When I'm expecting it to be one thing and then it turns out to be like too long and, and you know, too into itself, requiring too much attention. Uh, I like things to just be, you know, just giving away fun. And Bloodsport really showed me that. I was really impressed with it. And I'm going to try to make things more like Bloodsport that are fun and engaging and don't feel like homework and don't feel like you got to even pay attention that much. You could just have a good time with a group of people. And, uh, and it was great. It was super fun. And it was a great Easter movie, despite it <laughs> being about men beating each other up for a prize i think they get a sword at the end it doesn't matter um taught me a lot and it was a really good time and i'm really glad i did it and i just wanted to get on the mic and just kind of rap about it just because if you haven't seen it you should see it and i want to kind of know what you think you know I, if you haven't seen it in a long time you should watch it again but how do you remember it do you remember it being that good because it's better than you remember it <laughs> anyway thank you for listening to this funny silly rant uh, if you do like content like this and you like to see my mug and you like to make me feel good about myself, like and subscribe to the channel. I see those numbers go up and I feel better about everything. Anyway, thank you for listening, watching, or whatever, and we will see you on the next one.